Hi friends, welcome back. Today I wanted to kind of just have a sit down casual chat about habits that I've really implemented in 2022 that have truly changed my life. As always, I'm not saying that these are habits you need to implement in your own life, but if anything, I hope I can provide a little bit of inspiration. The first thing that I want to talk about, it's something that I really focused on in 2022 and it has really, really helped me as far as accountability goes, and that is tracking my workouts. At the beginning of 2022, I bought a big laminated calendar. It's from Staples and it has a full month by month breakdown and I hung it up by my desk because obviously I sit at my desk and I work every single day so I'm kind of forced to look at it. I think just having kind of a visual representation about how active I've been has been really motivating me so I would highly recommend. The second habit that I want to share is something that I've been focusing on probably over the past two years, I'd say more so in 2021, but also in 2022, and that's been going to therapy consistently. Last year, I was definitely going more consistently just because I feel like I was working through some things that I needed to work through, but I've still been going this year, and I think that next year, I even want to go more consistently. I'm going to aim for once a month. I do want to say that I understand not everybody can afford therapy and I feel really lucky that you know through my job I have good benefits that cover the majority of the cost but I will say if it's something that you can afford or you can budget for then I would definitely recommend. Something more recent that I've started doing is cleaning every single night before bed. I worked in restaurants pretty much from age 15 to 25 and if you've worked in a restaurant you probably know that part of your closing duties is obviously to make sure that the restaurant is clean so that's kind of like a mindset that I almost tried to bring home. We started calling it like our closing shift and we would try to clean the whole house before bed and you know have it ready for the next day obviously we didn't do it every single night but i will say when you make a habit of cleaning daily it makes the upkeep so much easier so again like i'm not perfect but going to bed with a clean house and waking up to a clean house like nothing beats it the next habit i would recommend is just to say no more often this kind of goes hand in hand with the therapy point because it's something that i think i learned in therapy but definitely this year i have really felt pretty guilt-free about saying no to social events or just like things i don't want to go to or don't want to do in general i think this can pretty much be applied to anything obviously within reason but saying no to maybe a favor that someone's asking of you a family dinner anything along those lines i think therapy kind of um, reinforced the importance of protecting my peace and that's definitely something that i want to bring into 2023 as well okay next is probably my favorite on the whole list and that is i have stopped spending money on things that i don't care about so let me elaborate this all stems from a book i read actually i didn't read it i definitely listened to it it was an audio book it's i will teach you to be rich by ramit sethi and i've mentioned it on a few different social platforms before i've made a tiktok about it i've mentioned it on instagram but let me tell you like this book completely shifted my mindset about money so his whole philosophy basically is that every everyone has their version of a rich life and it should be like completely unique to them and he really just discusses how you can cut things out of your budget that don't really matter to you to make room for the stuff that does honestly i think i've done a really good job of this this year if you're interested i have a whole video on random things that i used to buy that i've completely cut out of my budget and i'm also filming a beauty version so i will link those in my description box another habit that really helped me out specifically when i was working at my old job which was in an office setting and that was meal prepping my lunches i feel like everyone knows what meal prepping is but basically i would just prepare my food for the week ahead of time usually i would do it on sundays and it prevented me not only from eating out but i think it obviously helped my overall health because i wasn't spending money but i also wasn't eating bad food every day for lunch this one actually does go hand in hand with my last point and that is having a sunday reset routine let me tell you this actually changed my life i will say that my sunday reset routine does fluctuate but obviously for the most part i have my core things that i want to get done every single sunday washing my hair i don't meal prep anymore because i work from home but that was a good example making sure my house is clean 
I would say washing the sheets, but I definitely don't do that as often as I should. But things like that, things that are basically going to make your life easier for the week ahead, get them done on a Sunday. And again, obviously Sundays are just days that work best for me, but it can be any day, just like a weekly reset routine. Okay, so my next point is probably something that I've been doing for like seven years, and that is putting every single thing into my Google Calendar. I'd also recommend color coding or customizing your Google Calendar. I like to use my own hex codes. I think I just Googled like pastel color palette, and then I coordinated everything with different colors. If you want to see like a how I schedule with my Google Calendar type of video. I know those are very popular right now. Let me know, I can definitely do that. But yeah, swear by my Google Calendar. Next habit is time locking. This is something that has really helped me and you can use it in a lot of different areas. So I use it specifically for YouTube content creation. I use it for cleaning. And I even use it for like getting work tasks done. So basically the idea is that you block out a certain amount of time in your calendar and you allocate that time to a certain task. So for example, I have 10 to 12 blocked out Saturday morning every single Saturday to work on YouTube stuff. And then I kind of treat it like an appointment. It's something that needs to get done. So I do it during that time period. There's also timers you can use for shorter amounts of time. There's one called, I think it's Pomodoro timer. I'll put it on the screen or in the description box. This one was really helpful for me when I was in university, studying, working on papers, stuff like that. And with that specific timer, you can kind of set it for, let's say either 20, 25, 30 minutes, you can decide the time period and then you get a break and it times it all for you. You get notifications. It's great, really easy. I would highly recommend. The last thing I wanna mention is a mindset shift that I am currently working on. I'm definitely not perfect, but it is the don't put it down, put it away mindset. So for example, when you walk in the door, don't just throw your coat on the couch. Everything has a spot, so you just put it away and it really helps keep your house tidy, I will say. Again, I'm definitely far from perfect, especially when it comes to this. So it's something that I'm working on, but I do find it very helpful. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you do any of the habits that I mentioned, please let me know, I'd love to hear about it. Or maybe if you have suggestions for other people, please go ahead and leave it in a comment. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today and I will talk to you next week.